Um, Colin Oliver could come back for a super senior year if he wanted to. I don't really expect that with him either. I kind of think this is his his last go round, and um, you know he's a guy that I think is really going to show his NFL potential even more this year. Uh, he's he you know he was really they had him really focused at defensive end the first two years, then really focused at linebacker last year, and now he's going to get to be kind of the the true hybrid and and do both. And I think that's where his NFL future is because of uh, you know he's not the biggest guy as, as far as being an NFL defensive end. Um, but he does have the, the speed to uh, to be off the line, be a stand-up guy, those type, those types of things. So I think that's probably um, going to really help him this year in terms of developing developing him for the next year. And as far as the entire group, it really is. Um, you know, they had uh, they had uh, a couple years ago they were, when they were in a four-two-five, only had two linebackers. They had Malcolm Rodriguez and and Devin Harper, who both went and spent some time in the NFL, but. Um, but you know, these are, these are big time guys. They, those, those, those two were kind of fringe NFL prospects. And, uh, and I think when you put this, uh, this group of guys together, you're going to see guys playing in the league for a while. Um, you know, the, the move of Kendall Daniels, um, you know, from, from safety to linebacker, it's, it's sort of a, it's, he's like, like Colin Oliver, it's sort of a hybrid situation. He's still going to line up a safety some and, and then kind of, uh, kind of creep down toward the box a, a, a little bit. So, um, but the dude is 6'4", 235. And, and I mean, he looks like a linebacker. He needs to be playing linebackers. So they're figuring out ways to get him there. Um, but yeah, Nick Martin was, was kind of the big surprise of last year's team. Nobody really saw that coming. And, and then he just kind of exploded onto the scene and and really looks the part he's he's not you know he's 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 only six feet tall and that's one of the reasons that that people doubt him a little bit but he's incredibly productive and incredibly fast um his speed is what's going to keep him playing uh this game beyond uh beyond college so you look at that linebacker group and that is definitely the strength and and if you're an opponent the scariest part of this defense you know our interactions with ollie and the people that know him and um, the way that Mike Gundy has handled this, uh, you know, it has it really feels like this was one of those moments that, yes, it's going to be a wake up call for Ollie. Um, but, uh, you know, he's he's not a guy that is a, a, a problem in the locker room or uh, or on campus. Um, you know, you go back and look at at all the interviews he did at Big 12 Media Days when he didn't have to show up, uh, but he stepped out there, faced the music answer the questions and and you know those those conference media day events are are a uh, you know six seven hour thing and he was answering the same questions for seven hours and by the end of the day he was still um you know showing the humility and That's and good. the uh the awareness that he needed to be showing he wasn't getting annoyed by answering the same question over and over again he handled it all the exact right way so um you feel like it like the um uh, like the 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 warning hit home for him that this was a mistake that he's got to avoid in the future and um, he's handling it the right way.